Okay, so today we're going to do some layer masking here in Photoshop. We're going to open our one folder we've been working with, go to our Photomatics folder. There we go. And we're going to take a look at this image here. And we can see we have some issues with washed out neon lights, um, some abnormalities, a little spot here that we could uh, definitely fix up or address. This neon light could be a little bit sharper, it's a little fuzzy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start by dropping this image into Photoshop. And when we get into Photoshop, the first thing that I always do is uh, take the image to 100% as far as the size. So you never want to work with the image in anything less than 100%. So there we go. We're all zoomed in to 100% now. You can see this spot, the neon lights here, this neon light here as well. Um, so I just selected the clone stamp tool and you can see over here we've got this neon light as well this spot but this sp these spots right here we're gonna go ahead and fix that with the clone stamping tool and this is just to give you a quick demonstration if you haven't used this tool we're gonna to reduce the size of the brush here and I'm gonna option click here and that's gonna select my source and then what it allows me to do is paint right over that using the source next to it so you can see how quickly we just got rid of those two little blemishes um, probably one of the most popular tools in Photoshop and definitely one of my favorites. So we're going to go ahead and address this neon light now and we're going to do that um, by bringing in a layer. So we're going to bring in our darkest layer. So we're going to go to our stitched folder from um, PT GUI. We're going to take this dark layer here which is the uh, darkest one we got and we can see that the neon lights look much sharper and uh, a lot more definition in this darkest layer. So we're going to create the layer mask using this layer. <clears throat> so we drag it into Photoshop and you can see here at the top we have two tabs, uh, the dark image and the image from photo Photomatics that's been uh, blended. So we're going to pull this down to get these two uh, unnested, I guess, uh, for lack of a better term. And we've got to kind of adjust these so I can drop one on top of the other. That's what's we're gonna we're working towards here and we're gonna do that by selecting the arrow tool up here and we're gonna drag this image shift hold the shift key and drag it right on top of your dark blend and that puts it right on top so we don't need this photomatics layer anymore we don't need to save that and so what we've got now is we've got two layers here um, right on top of each other aligned perfectly and we did that by holding the shift key so I'll toggle this on and off so you can see here's our two layers there's uh, the top layer and the bottom layer and by clicking this little eyeball it makes the uh, layers visible or invisible and this isn't working so we need to click on this arrow over here click on the image there we go and now we can toggle the layers on and off and you can see how the two are just laid right on top of each other perfectly so we're gonna go ahead and make this image hundred percent again down here at the bottom left corner there we go and we're going to address this first neon light here and the way we're going to do that is we're going to come over to the right side of our screen here to these layers and at the very bottom we're going to click on this little square with a dot in it that's a layer mask so we're going to click that and that's going to add a layer to this particular image make sure you have the top one selected then we're going to go to the left here and we're going to select the paintbrush tool there I'm going to make the paintbrush a little bit bigger And I'm literally, well, first of all, we need to select black. The color black is what's going to paint the bottom layer. And no, this isn't what we we're trying to do. Let's cancel that. So right here, you can see we can toggle between black and white. And we want black in this case. So we're going to paint black, which is actually not going to paint black. What it's going to do is going to paint the layer below right into it because we have the layer selected over on our right side there. So I'm just tracing these letters, and you can see the definition starting to come back or come through on these uh, on these letters here of this neon sign and I'm gonna go ahead and increase the opacity which is gonna bring more of the under or the bottom layer through for us as we use the brush um, it'll just make the brush a little more effective so we can see this red here I wanna see how bright it is in the original image and you can see here it's pretty bright it's pretty good little red so that tells me that um, I can keep painting on this and get a little better a little brighter kinda of like that and then again we're just gonna keep tracing these letters and you can see how effective that is uh, increasing the opacity just made the tool a little bit more efficient you don't wanna go all the way to a hundred percent though um, you kinda of, you, it's better to do too little than too much um, so we'll just keep tracing this here 
and go over this a few times. And it's okay if we go over the lines. We can go back and correct this by using the color white, and we'll demonstrate that in a minute. So we'll go back and trace these letters again. And we can see even more defi definition coming through now. It's looking pretty good. Go ahead and do this bottom part here too. This bottom part is a nice brilliant blue and should come through pretty nicely. You can see it starting to come through there. So layer masking, uh, you can, as you can see here, is a great way. You can take a, a, a great image like this one that has some, some issues or uh, minor issues, uh, depending on your point of view, I suppose. And you can correct them and um, make a great photo even better. And um, that's kind of uh, layer masking is, is one of the beauties and one of the things, the neat things about using... Um, HDR, you can you have all these different blend planes and uh, exposures that you can use to um, correct exposure type issues like this one in your photos. This is looking pretty good here. Um, do this red a little bit more one more time. And obviously, the more you go over it, the the more the bottom layer comes through. So we're going to toggle here to white, and I'll show you how we clean up the edges. I'm going to get a little bit smaller brush here. And we're just going to paint right up against the edges and these dark spots, which aren't too bad, but these dark spots uh, with the white basically bring the top layer back, um, which will clean up any dark spots. We really don't have anything that's too bad here, but if you do, this is how you can address it, is by toggling to white. There's our bottom, there's our top. They look pretty similar, so I think we got that probably about as good as it's going to get. So we'll address this spot here, uh, which kind of bothered me the first time I saw it. So we'll grab this clone stamp tool once again. We'll make our brush a little bigger. And we're basically going to start out by just kind of literally erasing that spot. Um, and then, of course, that's going to leave a hole, which we'll address. So we're going to go here and uh, define. We need to select on the top here. Sorry. So we're going to select the top layer. There we go. Um, and it's important, important note to, to bring up is uh, we don't want to select from the bottom layer. We want to select from the top there. So that's what was going on there. So you can see um, I've just selected or option uh, clicked on the dark spot here to kind of erase this, this um, spot using the clone stamp tool, if you will. I'm going to select over here just to make sure the colors are blending right. And we'll get rid of this whole spot. So I'm going to turn the op opacity down uh, quite a bit here, as well as the flow. The flow and the opacity are, are have somewhat similar effect. Obviously, two different things, but similar effect in reducing um, how much you're you're painting or how much of the source is coming through. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. The the spot for the most part is is pretty much gone. So I'm going to option click down here on this little green haze. I'm just going to add a little bit back to make it look a little more natural and not like we erased a dot there. And that looks pretty good. It uh, looks pretty pretty natural. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cl click my source here again, um, which is the layer mask on the right there the little white box, sorry, and um, we can see that this particular blue neon light here is a little bit sharper in our dark exposure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to paint over this um, using, well, let's, we got to grab the uh, paintbrush first. That's a clone stamp. We've got our bottom layer selected. So we want to toggle this to black. There we go. And we've got our paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint this in here. And what we're doing is we're basically painting, again, the, the bottom layer. We're kind of 
um, darkening this up and which is kind of defining our edges instead of looking a little blown out as you can see so as I move along here you can see this is really kind of sharpening this neon light making it look more like a neon light as opposed to a just a light if you will um, so we'll just trace kind of trace this neon bulb here and that's given us a a nice sharper look that's not quite as blown out and if you're watching this in full screen in high definition which you should be you'll notice that as I'm doing this it, it is adding a little bit of black just below the neon light which is easy to fix again we just toggle to white and we're gonna trace this edge right underneath the bulb here and get rid of these dark spots and that's pretty much gonna do it for this particular example so this is a um, this has been layer masking and, and um, a great way to address some of the issues um, or fix some of the exposure issues that you may have in your photos.